The cult of fecundity has been practiced in many countries worldwide for a long time. Many archaeological sites and scientific documents say that this is the most primitive cult of humans at the dawn of history, when science was not developed yet. The cult of fecundity appeared long ago in Vietnam and has become part of people's spiritual life. This is proven through artifacts found in different periods of time, unique carvings in ancient religious buildings, and rituals and folk festivals. Up to now the cult of fecundity has still been an unanswered question that researchers have tried hard to answer. Where does the cult of fecundity come from? When was it practiced for the first time? For what was it founded? Is it true that the cult of fecundity is only practiced in countries with wet rice cultivation? Is it popular in other countries as well? Up to now these questions have remained unanswered. The cult of fecundity played a very important part in Vietnamese ancient spiritual life. It explains why the bronze drum, the symbol of power, is carved with images of the cult of fecundity. People in the past believed that natural and human spiritual energy could be transmitted into domestic animals and crop plants. Thus, the cult of fecundity and related rituals were developed in the country. In many countries, male and female sex organs or genitals are characterized by linga and yani. In Vietnam, linga and yani are called no and wong. In Vietnam, the cult of fecundity has left many traces. In a recent survey conducted in Lambo Mountain and Sun District, NGHE in province, Researchers have found an ancient stone block carved with humans and unique figures. According to scientists, the stone block is closely associated with the cult of fecundity. It is among the first vestiges to be found related to the cult. This is Dao Thin Bronze Jar of Dong Sun Culture. It proves skilled bronze casting of Vietnamese people living thousands of years ago. However, we are impressed most by decoration items on the jar. Four bronze couples having sex, in which women are lying under men, and their genitals are bigger than normal ones. Dong Sun bronze drums of different sizes cast in different periods of time are decorated with images of animal mating and human sexual intercourse, which are found on the surface, the body and the support of the drum. Furthermore, images related to fecundity are found on the body of the jar and the drum, such as a couple of deer, a male and a female, a herd of oxen, people, male and female, and so on. In this way, we can see that images closely related to fecundity on Dao Thin Jar, which continued grains, show ancient people's wish of bumper crops. They believed that acts of copulation would wake seeds up. Yin-yang balance would make seeds sprout rapidly and stay lush. In the middle of the surface of the bronze drum, the symbol of power of people and the past, is the sun whose rays represent male genitals. Between the two rays is a leaf-shaped blade with a slot in the middle, symbolizes female genitals. What's more, 
and pictures of Dong Sun culture that have been kept up to now. We can see images of couples pounding rice with pestle and mortars, representing the cult of fecundity. During the Chinese domination period, the cult of stone, sterile element with masculinity, and the cult of tree, fertile element with femininity, appeared. Legend says that two opposite elements were worshipped, because when they combined with each other, they brought about fecundity. Dao Pagoda is the mixture of the cult of fecundity, the cult of stone, the cult of tree, the worship of Mother Goddess in Buddhism. However, the worship of Mother Goddess dominates that combination. Proven through the legend of Man Nguyen, Buddhist Mother Goddess. Through the statues of Tu Fap, four Buddhist goddesses. And Thach Quang Fat. It can be said that the cult of fecundity changed when it contacted with exotic religions. Introduced into Vietnam during the Chinese domination period. In the Lai Dynasty, Buddhism flourished with the domination of liberal thinking. Buddhism in this dynasty appreciated sterilization, which was believed to enlighten humans. Therefore, the cult of fecundity was made light in the Lai dynasty. Meanwhile, the stone pillar in Dam Pagoda in Back 9 obviously looks like a linga. The pillar is carved with a couple of winding dragons typical of fine arts in the Lai dynasty. Remarkably, their entwined tails show yin-yang balance. In this period of time, Dam Pagoda was recognized as a national pagoda. Yet the pillar in the shape of a linga in the pagoda proves the existence of the cult of fecundity in this period. According to historical documents, King Ran Hung Tung, who defeated Wu Yan Mong troops twice, gave up the throne and founded the Truk Lam Zen School. He traveled everywhere to decrease the number of gods, worshipped in temples of the cult of fecundity. It's possibly the reason why no artifacts of the Tran dynasty that related to the cult of fecundity are found. The cult of fecundity developed well in the 16th century after the collapse of the later La dynasty and the governance of the Mac dynasty, opening centuries of disturbances. In this period of time, the worship of village Tudalari god grew popular. Special attention was paid to the communal house, proving through the abundance of elaborate carvings and sculptures in this religious building. Also in this period of time, the cult of fecundity witnessed flourishing development in all aspects of society. The cult appeared brilliant in carvings and sculptures in the communal house. It can be said that the cult of fecundity was found abundantly in language, objects and art in the 17th, 18th century. Fulao Communal House in Bakjiang still keeps a large number of carvings dating back to the 17th, when the cult of fecundity came back to its most brilliant time. The building does not stand out because of its imposingness, but thanks to unique wood carvings. Its rafters surprise us by carvings depicting vividly scenes of life in which images imbued with the cult of fecundity like naked men and women, and acts of copulation are carved elaborately and skillfully. Researchers think that human desires are reflected most faithfully through carvings. In Fulao Communal House, the communal house is the most sacred building of the village. Thus, 
decoration items in the communal house must have been made intentionally. These carvings were made based on ideas and desires of the whole community. First communal houses were built at the same time with the strong development of Confucianism, which consists of three moral bonds, five constant virtues, three subjects and four virtues of women, especially the with for fertility, carvings of boys and girls playing together in Fulao communal house, and other images of the cult of fecundity carry the wish for abundance and fertility of ancient Vietnamese people. It's the wish of the whole community. A corner of Chu Quai and communal house in former hectares T in the 17th century was carved with images of girls in traditional costumes. Scenes of daily activities are used to decorate the space for community activities. It's the most remarkable feature of communal house sculpture in this period of time. Similarly, in the sanctuary of Hung La communal house, Ngia Hung, Nam Din, among carvings of dragons, there are carvings of boys and girls playing together with four famous smiles. All are to reflect people's desires. The cult of fecundity not only has been practiced in the Red River Delta, where people mainly live on crops and husbandry, but also develops well across the country. Along the narrow strip land in the central region, for thousands of years, Chav ethnic people have created a vibrant culture, based on the mixture of Hinduism, Buddhism and native culture. The cult of fecundity of Cham ethnic people is expressed through the worship of Linga, male sex organs, and Yani, female sex organs. The two objects are often coupled. The cult is normally found in Cham towers dating back to the 10th century. Legend has it that Linga, male genital, is Shiva, one of the three supreme Hindu gods. He is the symbol of masculinity and creativity. Yani, female genital, is Yuma, Shiva wife. She is the symbol of femininity. Linga and Yani are divided into three parts. The lower part has square-shaped cross-section, representing earth and yin. The central part has octagonal cross-section, representing human and yin-yang balance. In the central highlands where the locals have long lived on wild mountains and forests, nature is a part of their blood and flesh. That's why the cult of fecundity is of great significance and scare to them. With the thought that death is the beginning of a new life, the cult of fecundity of people in the Central Highlands is expressed clearly through statues around their charnel house, with the hope that rebirth will come soon. The life of wet rice farmers in Vietnam is mainly sustained by crops. Thus, wishes for bumper crops are the firm foundation for the development of the cult of fecundity. Unlike people in other countries in the world, Vietnamese people are partly influenced by the philosophy of yin-yang balance, which is seen as the source of development. What's more, they are influenced by ideology of some exotic religions, like Buddhism, Taoism and Confucianism. After a long-term interaction, 
that explains why fecundity is not only a cult, but also found abundantly in rituals and games in folk festivals. The cult is clearly depicted in the festival called Lintintin Fat in Lampau, although in the first lunar month every year. Rituals of the festival to pray for fertility are conducted midnight. No and Wong, symbols of genitals are made of wood and painted in red. The two objects are worshipped in a temple. They are given to a selected couple, in which the man wears a loincloth and the woman wears a brassier and skirt. After a verbal command Lintint and fought the man sticks no through Nguong. If no is successfully stopped through Nguong three times, the weather will be beautiful all year round and local people will harvest bumper crops. The cult of fecundity is expressed in different ways. But all are to pray for a full life and fecundity for things. It is part of human life with many secrets and desires to live forever. It can be said that despite historical ups and downs, the cult of fecundity remains an indispensable part of Vietnamese folk culture.